Hi guys, it's Linda here. Um, I, I, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I love uh, the imitation of Christ. It's outside of the Bible. It's probably one of my absolute favorite, favorite books. The old classic Thomas Kempis. This one is like dog-eared and torn up and highlighted and the cover actually comes right off of it. It's, but I have had this for years and it is my absolute favorite. And this past year, this year, um, Hallow did um, The Imitation of Christ during Lent. And you could order a book through Pauline Books of, of The Imitation of Christ. And they also had reflections in it as well as the prayer and, uh, and different people, uh, you know, went through it during the entirety of Lent. And I had ordered this around that time. And of course, followed along with my book that I had and the readings in the Hallow app. But I recently got this and I was so excited to get it because it just it adds a new dimension uh, to my old favorite classic. And every day I've been opening it up and just going to a random page, like I often did with the original Imitation of Christ that I have. And, um, and it just seems to absolutely fit my day. And so I don't know why this morning I thought, you know, I think I'm going to start sharing this. So here goes. So today I opened it up to chapter 14. Avoid rash judgment. One, look to yourself rather than judging the doings of others. In judging others, one wastes energy, errs often, and easily sins. But in looking at yourself and judging only yourself, you always gain. We often judge according to what we already have at heart and thus make false assumptions based on our personal feelings. If God were always the sole object of our desire, we would not so easily be disturbed when our opinions are resisted. But often sometimes hidden within us or an occurrence without overcomes us. Many are unaware that they are secretly seeking themselves in whatever they do. They go along peacefully when things when things are done their way, but if something goes contrary to their desires, they become disturbed and sad. Differing thoughts and opinions frequently cause dissensions among friends and neighbors, even among religious and devout persons. And three, an old habit is difficult to break. No one willingly goes beyond where they feel comfortable. If you rely more on your own reason or industry than on the power of Jesus Christ, it is unlikely uh, and only with great difficulty that you will become an enlightened person. God warns us to rely completely on him and to overcome our reasoning with an ardent love. And the reflection is, be attentive to your duties as you prepare to render an account of your life to God. If you've judged yourself carefully, God will not have to, have to judge you. Above all, guard against judging others. Be attentive to be attending to ourselves. We will avoid making rash judgments against our neighbor. And the prayer for today, and what I'll take with me moving forward through this day, is, O oh God, grant me the grace to judge myself as I should. Remember your promise that if I judge myself, you will not judge me. Fill my heart with humility and charity so that I will not pardon myself, but that I will always pardon others. Amen. I'm going to read that prayer for today again. O oh God, grant me the grace to judge myself as I should. Remember your promise that if I judge myself, you will not judge me. Fill my heart with humility and charity so that I will not pardon myself, but that I will always pardon others. Amen. Wow, that totally speaks to me, um, especially today. Um, I've been thinking about a lot of things, a lot of stuff swirls around, uh, in, in this brain and, um, and it just, just was exactly what I need to hear to, you know, to always to be charitable with others, even when we want to make a judgment or we want, you know, or I should say I, even when I want to already have an opinion of something, um, it's best not to go there. And this is just an affirmation of that. It's best to put the focus back on me and to see my point and my, or my, not my point, but my actions 
or my opinion in that and to then seek God's opinion and to seek what he wants me to see in this situation. Um, not my own uh, thoughts uh, or my own opinions uh, in that in that regard. I love this. God wants us to rely completely on him and to overcome our reasoning with an ardent love. So it is that ardent love, um, that fervor for God that I desire. And, um, and it is a prayer today, especially, uh, but really every day, um, that I should remember his promise that if I judge myself, he will not judge me, um, and to fill my heart with humility and charity so that I will not pardon myself, but that I'll always pardon others. Amen. I love that. So that's what I'm taking with me through this day. Um, I hope that that uh, resonates with you as well. Um, and I pray that whatever circumstances uh, come along your path today, that in all things, um, that there's an opportunity to draw, cl draw closer to the Lord, to draw deeper into relationship with him, um, and also to draw deeper into that self-knowledge, to know ourselves, to know yourself, to know myself, whatever it is that I face today a little bit better so that I can focus on having that charity and humility towards others and more or less uh, do that judgment for myself. Take care, guys.